What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome actually to a brand new series that I've decided to start here on my channel. By now I'm sure you'll know that I love doing like one brand tutorials, testing videos, full faces of first impressions, all that good stuff. And the other day I had a little thought and I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted me to start doing this and it was pretty much like 100% yes. And I thought to myself, why am I just testing out makeup? Why don't I test out fashion as well? And so a few weeks ago, I was just, you know, scrolling through my Facebook feed, looking at memes, looking at videos of cute animals. And so I came across an ad for Zaffle, which is a website that I've heard so, so much about. I've seen people like advertising it on Instagram and things like that, but I've never actually tried anything myself. So I instantly took to Twitter and did a little poll, asked you guys if you wanted me to do like a testing clothing series. And it was pretty much like 100% yes, so. Here we are. So I've got a massive box here next to me. I think I got around 10 items. I think I picked like a variety of different things like jackets, I think I got a few accessories, tops. To be honest, I can't really remember what I picked up because it was quite a while that I ordered it. I think it took maybe two weeks or so to arrive, which isn't that bad. I find that a lot of these websites do tend to take that amount of time anyway. I'm just checking my phone because I made sure to write down all of the links to all of the products. So I've got all of the sizes and all of the links and that sort of thing so I can tell you guys exactly how much I paid. I haven't looked at anything, I haven't tried anything on, so this is gonna be a full first impressions. I'm gonna be trying everything on for you guys as well and doing like a first impressions of how they all fit. So let's try this out, shall we? I literally don't even remember what I got. So first of all, this is how it all arrived. As you can see, it's got Zaffle written on the side and it seems like fairly decently packaged. I literally don't even remember what I picked up. Okay, so here we have a jacket. Looks like this. I will obviously try things on in a second, but I'm gonna give you guys a first impression of how it looks. Um, so far, I'm looking to see if there's any like loose threads or anything. So far, it looks pretty good. Oh, what is this? What is this? I don't remember seeing that on the jacket, but it's pretty like, it's pretty like nothing to me. It's not like a big ugly logo or something. It just says take five, I think. Um, I can deal with that. Realistically, I'll probably roll the sleeves up anyway. It's got like a nice, fairly standard lining. Just looking to see how much I paid for this. So that is what it looks like on the website. Um, this was $36.99, so I'll do the conversions on screen, but I'm thinking that's maybe like £27, something like that. Which is pretty good actually, I mean you'd probably find something like this in maybe like Topshop or something for... I don't know, if you were to find this in Topshop you'd probably be looking at like £40 or £50 even. And this, this one here is in a size medium, and I'm just going through the website now just to like remind myself. I think it does actually have like a fairly decent size guide, so if I just click on that there... You're not gonna be able to see that, but I'll maybe try and include like a cutaway or something. Um, it's got R size and then it's got, it fits the US size, so you can kind of work it out from there. I mean, I know I've only got like a sports bra on underneath, but hang on. It's like a nice oversized sort of situation, which is what I was looking for. Roll up those sleeves. Yeah, you know what? I actually really, really like this. I mean, just chuck it on. Obviously with like an actual top underneath, I'm not gonna go out with my bloody gut hanging out. Yeah, the more I'm wearing it, the more I'm like, yeah. I'm actually gonna keep this on for a minute. I really, really like that. Next up, we have what I believe is a bag. Let's open this up again. Same sort of packaging. Comes in a little dust bag. Ooh. This one in particular looks very, very similar to, I'm so out of the loop these days. I don't know what designer it is anymore, um, but some sort of designer bag. The chain feels like it maybe won't last forever, but let me just see how much this costs. Okay. $15, $15.51, that's like close to a tenner or something. That's like Primark prices and yeah, that is, that's way better than what I'd probably expect to get in Primark. I mean, it's obviously not like designer quality or anything like that, but I'd definitely say it's more like H&M quality or new look quality or something. It's not badly made by the looks of things. It doesn't seem to have like much of a smell either. I know that sounds weird, but it doesn't really smell like fake leather. You know how sometimes fake leather can smell like really fishy? This doesn't. It just smells like new bag smell. Yeah, I really, really like that. That's just like a nice sort of like cheap and cheerful bag. It's probably not something that I'll wear for like the rest of my life. But for like a little trend piece, yeah, it'll kind of like, it'll fit my little phone in there, no problem liking that and the quality is definitely like there especially for the price like that you can obviously just like wear it like cross body wear it on your shoulder like that you could probably even 
pull the handles like that and just have it hanging. Ooh, yes, I like it like that. Yeah, I like it with the handle. Just like walking down the street with my bag. Okay, I'm definitely gonna keep an eye out for more of their bags because so far, first impressions on the bag, very good. So next up, what is this? Okay, so what we have here, let me just hunt this down. This looks like it's the cropped off shoulder bell sleeve top in a size medium. That is, that's definitely cropped. Hopefully that'll cover my boobies. Looks like that in the photo. And to be fair, it does look pretty similar. Okay, how much are you? $16.27, so again, just over a tenner. It's like elasticated at the top, so hopefully it won't fall down or anything like that. It's got, yeah, some like bell sleeves. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh God, I heard a rip. I think it's maybe, just maybe, a little bit too small for me. I'm trying to like, I'm just shoving my bra straps down a little bit. Otherwise though, it does look quite nice. It's just way, way too small for me. What size did I get this in? I got this in a medium and I'm like a size eight-ish. This is definitely too small for me. That's really annoying because I do actually like how it looks. If it was like, two sizes bigger. I think it does look really nice. Doesn't show off too much of my stomach. Ignore the fact that it is way too small for me for a second. And let's just look at how it actually looks. I mean, it's a little bit restricting here with like the elasticated band. I mean, it's definitely not doing anything for my tits. Let's just, let's be honest. It's kind of like morphed into one. Yeah, I do, I do like it, but obviously it is way too small for me. But in terms of like, the quality, I'd say it's probably similar to something you'd maybe get on like Misguided or Pretty Little Thing or something like that. The quality isn't bad. It's not like a thick material or anything. I mean, if this did actually fit me and didn't give me like a shoulder muffin top, I didn't even know that was a thing, then I'd be really, really happy with it for the price. But yeah, let's be real here. This is really doing nothing for the boobs, nothing for the shoulder area can barely breathe in it, so I'm gonna have to give this one a miss. Actual sausage boob. What is that? <sighs> I can breathe again. Next up, it looks like we have some sort of knitwear. So this one here, I'm guessing is the contrast chunky sweater. I got this in one size. So it's kind of like a one size fits all. That is so small. I was expecting this to be like really quite big considering it's one size. Like this is what it looks like on the website. There you are. And then this was $27.49. So this is giving me a headache. Maybe like 17, 18 pounds, which is actually pretty good. Okay. Hmm. It's definitely more of like a cropped style on me. But I think I like it. It's definitely something a little bit different. I normally wear these sort of knits like 10 times bigger than this, because I always like the oversized look, but I actually quite like it. And I wasn't originally sure on the sleeves. I thought they looked a little bit weird because they're kind of like fluted. Is that the right word? Um, but I don't actually mind it. And if I kind of like pull the sleeves up, maybe with like a cute little skirt or something, just like a black A-line skirt, I quite like it. And it feels quite comfy as well. It doesn't feel like the most amazing quality, but again, it's like, what, under 20 quid for a jumper? I guess you gotta bear in mind that I'm five foot three, so I'm pretty short. And uh, this is quite short on me as well. And I do have a short body. I'm more of like a long leg, short body sort of person. So this is still quite cropped on me. So if you're much taller than me, or if you've got like a longer body, this will look a lot more cropped. Yeah, you know what? I think this, just with like a short black A-line skirt or something, like a little denim skirt, I think would look pretty cute. I'm just doing like a once over now and it doesn't really seem to be like any frays either. No. Yeah, we're all good. Thumbs up. I think I've got it on back to front. I don't know. I like it. Next, we've got this little number. Literally no idea what any of this is. Ooh, now I remember it's like one of those super like 90s bodysuits. Okay, let's see how much this was. So this is called the camisole bodysuit. Looks like that, pretty standard. And this was, it's in a size medium and it was 16.99. So again, like 11, 12 pounds or something. This definitely looks like it has potential to be see-through. So we're gonna have to tread carefully here. So this is what it looks like and I actually do really, really like this. It's kind of what I've been after for a little while now. A little bit see-through, but I definitely think that if you can 
see the situation going on then just wearing like the little petals or like a stick on bra or something will work just fine. One thing to note is that this bodysuit did not have poppers so you have to kind of put it on like a swimming costume which I was not expecting. I just had to strip off in my filming room. But yeah, I really, really like how that looks. Fits nicely. Like I said, I think this is a medium. Correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure this is a medium. And yeah, I really, really like it. All this sitting down and standing up is getting tiring. Next we have what looks to be like a corduroy skirt. That looks really nice. You guys aren't gonna be able to see like the texture or anything, which is kind of like velvety corduroy almost. So let's have a little look. That is what it looks like on the website. Looks pretty much the same in real life as well. And this was $22.49 in dollars. So again, like 13, 14 pounds or something. Apparently I got this one in a medium. So let's have a little look. Could be okay. Let's give it a go. It fits. It's a bloody miracle. So that is what it looks like. Oh my God. And it's got real pockets. It's got real goddamn pockets. It looks kind of cute with the top as well. Like a little, little sexy number. Yeah, I really, really like this actually. I've been looking for like a new black skirt because the one that I've been wearing is just like, it is pretty much no more. It needs a rest. But this is really, really nice. Not too short either. Got a little bit of stretch to it. Yeah, nice. Really, really feeling these two together as well. Like, wait, how you doing? Yes, this is my kind of look. And for what, like 15 quid or so for the skirt? Yeah, I am digging this. Next up, I remember what this is. I got a big ass coat. Yeah, so I just looked up online. This is what it looks like. It's like a nice checkered coat and it is $41.99 and apparently I got this in a small. Really? Is this gonna fit? Okay, not hating it. I'm not as in love with it as I thought I would be originally. Quality is nice enough. It's like a little bit thin, but again, it's kind of like, I'd say maybe like Forever 21 sort of quality. I like it. I'm not in love with it. Yeah, I much prefer it just like thrown over my shoulders. Yeah, I mean, it's not my favorite coat, but throw it over my shoulders. I really, really like how it looks. Maybe if I like get a belt, belt that in, I'll look like Miss Trunchbull. Yeah, I quite like it. I do definitely prefer it when it's like over my shoulders, but as far as the quality goes, definitely like worth the money. It's not amazing quality, but it's a really, really affordable coat. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Next up, we have a, another jacket. I'm gonna sneeze. So this one here is the faux suede zip up biker jacket, size medium and it's in the shade apricot. That's what it looks like in the picture. Does look very, very similar in person. $28.75, so maybe like 20 quid or so. That is really, really cheap for something like this. Ooh. That's actually really quite nice. Maybe actually a little bit too big. Maybe, it's almost like a little bit too big around the bottom part. The lining, not gonna lie to you guys, the lining is pretty cheap. It's kind of like all just sort of exposed and just there. But like, as something, if you were looking for, again, just like a trend piece or whatever, if you wanted like a certain color jacket, then this is nice enough. I'm not like in love with it. And yeah, like it's okay. Again, what you kind of expect for 20 quid. Um, but it's not something that's necessarily gonna last you like this here. I didn't even pull at that part and it's got like the little loops sort of coming off. And again, I like it just as like a throwover piece, just throwing it over my shoulders. Um, but it's maybe not like the best fitting or best quality jacket around. I probably maybe save up a little longer and get something a little bit more expensive, even like 30 or 40 pounds or something, get something from Misguided, Boohoo, whatever, because they probably do something very, very similar, but like a lot better quality. But I mean, it's not bad. I'll definitely wear it. It's just maybe not as good as some of the other things I've tried. We then have what I think, if I remember correctly, was like a little cord or something. What the hell is that? Um, skirt, oh, top, okay. No idea how this is gonna work, but um, Oh, maybe you like tie it at the front or something. That's an accident waiting to happen. Yeah, that looks like this on the website and judging by how it looks, like right in front of me, it looks pretty similar. It says tied cami top and striped skirt set, blue medium, and this was $15.99. So if this looks good, that's like a full outfit for like just over a tenner. I mean, 
Actually, the top's kind of cute. Okay, not sure I'm a fan of the skirt. I feel like this just, it's just not working for me. And the top, originally I put it on and I was like, like, because you couldn't resize the straps. And literally it was like down here, nips are out and everything. If you've got any sort of like curves to you, any little ounce of fat, then it's probably not gonna look great. Um, Cause this right now is just making me look 10 times bigger than I actually am. But the top, tits don't look half bad in the top. How are you doing? So last but not least for clothing, then I just have like two other accessories to show you guys. I have this, which I think I know what this is. It was a dress that I've seen, I think it was from the brand Are You Am I? And this looked very, very similar to that. So this here is the backless mini slip dress. Apparently I got it in a small. Don't really know what I was thinking there. This was $14.99. So again, super affordable. Looks like that. Looks fairly similar, but I'd say that the one I have in my hand does actually look a little bit more thin. Um, hmm. Let's, let's give it a go. Oh my God. Hello there. Straps just falling down. Wow. <laughs> this is a look. What a lovely dress. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay, if you, if you have any fat on your body at all, don't even bother, because right now we can see this. My boob looks like a tube. I'm like spewing out over the sides here. This keeps falling off. My tits like hanging out on the sides. Hey boys. Maybe it's like a top it could work, but yeah, here. And I'm not even like bloated today or anything. That's just, it's all me, baby. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to give this one a pass. A hard pass, cause this ain't doing nothing for any of this. Last but not least, I have another bag, which as you can see, it looks very, very similar to kind of like the Chanel boy bag. It's probably one of like the closest dupes I've seen. So that is what it looks like. As you can see, it's got like a quilting effect and it feels pretty sturdy to be honest. I'm guessing you open it by like, okay, you turn that bit. That's a nice little touch. Normally you have to like squeeze these things in, but you turn that bit and then Lift that, and again, fill with some paper, no thank you. Nice red interior there. You've got a little area to put like cash or something. Yeah, if you were to find this in like Topshop or Zara or something, this would cost so much more. Like in Topshop, they'd probably get away with charging like 50 or 60 quid for it or something like that. But what did this cost me again? Like 15 pounds? That is so cheap. Definitely recommend the bags from Zaffle so far um, because they seem to be like really, really nice quality and like a ton cheaper than the high street. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Nice size as well. Again, I'll quickly just show you. Oh, we're getting caught there. The size here in comparison to my phone and I've got a plus, like you could definitely fit a lot in that bag. That is really, really nice. Definitely worth like the 15 pounds. Like I'd happily pay like double, even triple that for this. All right guys, so that is everything that I got from Zaffle this time around. A few fails, like for example, the little two piece thing with the skirt. Was not keen on the skirt and also that dress. You know the one I mean, not, no. But there are a few things that I really, really like. Like this top that I've pretty much not taken off since I tried it on, I love. I love the skirt that I'm also wearing as well. The bags I love. I am 100% gonna be picking up more bags from them because from what I can tell so far, the quality is so, so good for the price. And I mean like, 10 pound, 15 pound for a bag, you really cannot complain. The sizing was okay, like their size charts are Fairly on point. I'd probably say they're maybe like one size out. So if you can go up a size, then I definitely recommend you do. But yeah, overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with a lot of the pieces that I picked up. So let me know which was your favorite thing in the comment section down below. Let me know if you've ever tried anything from Zaffle. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this. I'm not gonna go ahead and get back in my dressing gown where I belong, but as always, if you did enjoy this video and if you're excited about this new series, then please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.